We are almost to the property. We're gonna check out track 16 out here. And we actually went past the property, way past the property and, and did some other stuff and, and uh, took some pictures and whatnot. And now we're headed back to the west. So we're coming at the property backwards. But the interactive map is telling us that we are we are just uh, just about on the property now. And we'll go up a little further and park. So the road actually comes in uh, right at about the northeast corner. There's maybe a sliver of land northerly of the road over here but the vast majority is gonna be on the south side of the road. Um, this is looking like on the south side, it slopes down. And as you get all the way to the southwest corner of the property, you've got um, basically a, a kind of an area where two valleys come together. So the southwest corner, the topo map shows a level area, but it's probably a level area in the bottom of a valley. So it's nothing where you'd wanna to build or or you know even camp there camping might be okay but you certainly wouldn't want to build in the bottom of a valley so we're going to have some great views from 16. Um, we're going to have possibility for some really cool stuff in those valleys that's where we always start to look if we're looking if we're searching on a property for for neat stuff if it has a valley we start right there because we have found caves we have found springs on different properties i'm just awesome rock formations. Um, valleys are, are really cool. Uh, other thing about this property, it looks like there's also potentially a road crossing over the northwest corner and that might provide access to uh, some building sites or campsites as well. You'll definitely want to check out the drone video on the property. I think that'll show it much more thoroughly than we can from the ground here without spending uh, the entire day hiking the property. Looks like a great mixture of timber. We've got everything from mature, that's about a 14 or 16 inch um, white oak, I believe. There's some bigger ones there. Everything from big, mature, uh, 100 plus year old trees over there. That hickory is awesome. To these little guys, which are probably, I don't know, anywhere from 10 to 15, maybe 20 years old, depending on what species they are. It's hard to see it right now, but when those leaves are off, I would, I would just about bet that you have quite the view to the south there. In fact, through one little hole in the leaves, you can see a, a ridge way off in the distance. So there is a view there. It's just no one has really seen it before many a year. Maybe in the winter time, I guess. Okay. So we might as well, let's leave this running and we'll zip up to this crossroads and we'll take a left. And that way we can see this other section of road that crosses the property. So our interactive map is showing that uh, the way the road is angled, we're, we've gone off the property. And the main road does keep going to the west toward the entrance. We're actually going to go left onto this road. And this angles down the other way. So in a little bit, this shows that we'll actually be back on the property. We'll be on the northwest part of the property, track 16. back at the property, except this time on the northwest corner. And this is 
pretty close to what the topo map was showing. It's um, It's got a little level area and then it begins to slope down toward that valley again. This is really pretty right here. It would be a lot of fun to explore that valley. See what kind of rock formations or, or other neat stuff you could find down there. So there's certainly some potential with this one. That's track 16. Be sure to check out the drone video as well on the listing page. Um, play around with the interactive map. We think those are fantastic. Change the base map. You can look at a, a topo map um, that shows the contours, all that good stuff. You can do that with the interactive map. If you have any questions, just let us know.